Today we're making a heart healthy dinner. We're making salmon burgers. I have some healthy ingredients for you on the inside and it's nice and crunchy on the outside, full of flavor. And we're gonna be serving these burgers over a bed of coleslaw with a nice light vinegar dressing. I'm Rockin' Robin and I'm gonna show you how to do it right after my chef joke. What did one dinner plate say to the other dinner plate? Don't worry, dinner's on me. So for this recipe, we're gonna use two cans of wild pink salmon, and we're gonna drain the liquid out. We'll toss the salmon in a bowl, and then we'll break it up with a fork. This will just make it easier to mix all the ingredients in. Next, we're gonna add some breadcrumbs. I'm using Aliyah's Italian breadcrumbs here. These are gluten-free, but you can use any you like. Now remember, you can get the written recipe below the video in the description area. We'll toss that in the salmon. Instead of using mayonnaise, I'm using something healthier. I'm using Nancy's Probiotic 100% grass-fed whole milk yogurt. And the flavor of this works really well because it has a nice little tang to it, which just lends itself to the salmon. And of course, you can still use a regular Greek yogurt if that's what you have. Let's make sure it's plain yogurt. It's nice to add some green onion to this, so I'm chopping up about three of them here. And we'll add a nice sprinkle here to the bowl. Now to bind all of our mixture together, we're gonna add some eggs. So I've got three eggs here that we're gonna put in a bowl, whisk it up ahead of time, and then add it in. The last few ingredients we need to add are some apple cider vinegar, and use the one with the mother, some garlic powder, some salt, now we're gonna add some herbs, parsley in this case. You could even do basil. Heck, I would do basil in just about anything. I love it so much. So I'll chop this nice and fine. And now we'll add all of that finely chopped parsley. And last but not least, we're adding some fresh lemon juice. This lemon juice makes me pucker. Then we're gonna mix it all together until it's well combined. Here's what it should look like, and it should also be soft enough so that it sticks together and doesn't crumble apart. Let's make some patties. So I like to use this scooper because then all the burgers will be about the same size, but do whatever works for you. Now smash those burgers together just like you would the like button if you're enjoying this video. I ended up getting eight good sized burgers, but here's another thing you can do. If you want to take this to a party, maybe make it an appetizer, you can make the burgers like really small, just bite size, and then we'll place it on a bed of coleslaw and people love it. So like I said, I got eight burgers out of this. Before we cook them up, we're gonna go ahead and make our dressing for the coleslaw because once these, these cook up really quickly, just a few minutes. So we're gonna add some of that Nancy's grass-fed plain yogurt to a bowl, some apple cider vinegar, some finely chopped parsley, a teaspoon of salt, some garlic powder, a nice squeeze of fresh lemon juice, and a nice drizzle of olive oil. And then of course, let's blend it up. Here I have a bowl full of some coleslaw that I purchased at the store, so it just made things a lot quicker. So go ahead and pour that dressing right on top. I didn't put it all in because I wanted to see how, you know, how much there was in, in proportion. So, so give it a good toss. And then once you get it all mixed in, you'll be able to tell if you need to add more or not. Now this is looking pretty good to me. It must be time for chef joke number two. Why did the salmon cross the road? So he could get to the other tide. <laughs> It's time to start cooking those burgers. I have my cast iron pan over, this is medium low right now, heat. I like to use cast iron, you get a great sear. Once that pan is hot, we'll drizzle in some olive oil to cover the bottom of the pan, and then I'll swirl it around, and then we'll add our burgers. You do wanna be real gentle with these. As you can see, they tend to fall apart a little bit, so if you're real careful, they'll be just fine. These burgers will cook about two minutes on each side. That'll get us a nice uh, crispy brown edge on them. You'll see a nice golden brown here when I flip this over carefully. And that's all you really need to do. After these cook another two minutes on the second side, I'll just place them here on a paper towel covered plate to cool. Look at how gorgeous these look. 
to serve these up, I'll just put down a little bed of the coleslaw. Look at that, nice and delicious. And then we'll top it with our salmon patties. These salmon burgers make a delicious weeknight quick meal that you are gonna love. I love how these are nice and crispy on the outside and creamy and just flavorful on the inside and you get that nice crunch from the coleslaw. If you love salmon recipes, you're gonna wanna try my salmon quesadilla here. This is so delicious and also quick to put together. Click the link on the screen and it'll take you right to the video. As always, I hope you enjoyed the video today. If you did, you can let me know by smashing the like button and leaving me a comment. All right, we'll see you back here next week for another delicious and healthy recipe.